Uh, the condition was Parkinson's disease. And um, I loved my job, had a beloved career teaching middle school, and um, it was getting more and more difficult. Even though I was a veteran teacher and loved what I did and, and was a crackerjack in a lot of aspects, some of it was getting more difficult instead of easier. And um, I had a lot of uh, difficulty even admitting this to myself at the time, but I was having difficulty with focus. Um, to the point where prior to my diagnosis of Parkinson's, I had actually been given some Ritalin to see if I had attention deficit disorder. I was taking the dopamine drug, Cinemet 25100, three times a day, and I was also taking Requip XL once a day, and they were not working as well as they had a few months prior. Tremor. Uh, I had tremor. I had. Um, a little bit of difficulty uh, with my right leg every once in a while when I thought I had lifted my foot I actually hadn't and it would scrape against the ground and make walking difficult some balance issues um, I also had uh, a lot of fatigue a lot of pain um, and uh, terrible for years prior to my diagnosis terrible constipation daily um, and I also uh, had difficulty uh, swallowing in the evening. Um, I have uh, allergies and post-nasal drip, and I would wake up in the middle of the night choking and not being able to swallow. That was pretty terrifying. And uh, also, my handwriting had become small and cramped so that my students could not read my editorial comments on their, on their papers anymore. <clears throat> I tried Qigong because I had Parkinson's, I was researching what I could do to help myself, uh, discovered that all kinds of movement were good for Parkinson's, but that Qigong was indeed the best. So then I had to figure out what it was and find it. My practice with Qigong is different now than a little over three years ago when I started. When I started, I had Parkinson's and was on the medication. And I practiced three hours a day, not necessarily all at once, and it was a combination of the physical and the, and the sound healing uh, practice. Now I still practice, and I try to get in at least two hours a day, but now my body is also in the, in the condition where I can actually work out and start to toughen up at a, at a real big, big girl's gym. And, um, and uh, so I, I do that, and I do a lot of informal practice because I have clients that I'm Skyping with and showing them and demonstrating Qigong and uh, just doing a lot of Qigong in my life all the time. <clears throat> Four years ago, I thought my life was shrinking. I was you know, shrinking in a corner. Uh, since my healing, people have heard about it, became interested, and it just organically, I guess what you'd call a business grew. I have a website, I have clients that I Skype with, uh, and I, I write a blog, all about healing from Parkinson's through Qigong. I feel better every single day, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, stronger, like I'm stepping into my life, and um, I'm not a victim of it. Um, my Parkinson's condition is no longer detectable. Neurology dismissed me two months ago. Two years ago, they declared me symptom-free. I have been off all medication for over three years and um, very happily physically improving all the time, getting stronger still.